Then I would like to present my three-year professional development plan. Before that, I would like to thank everybody for joining me today. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present, present myself. I am Ting Yishen, a dedicated 21-year-old final year computer science student at Monash University, Malaysia. I was born in Selangor, Malaysia, and I belong to the Chinese ethnicity. I possess fluency in several languages, including Mandarin, English, and Basel, Malaysia. Hence, Today, I want to address my presentation into four segments. Firstly, I will talk about myself, who am I and where am I. I will talk about my hobbies, interests, strengths, weaknesses, and also my dislikes. Secondly, I will talk about the areas where I should develop my objective and my goals. In the third part, I will talk about how to use the SMART Goals Framework to address my goals. Last but not least, I will address my position and whether I have achieved any of it yet in the last part. So, so let's explore where I am in my academy and professional journey. I'm currently a final year student pursuing, pursuing an advanced computer science degree at Monash University, Malaysia. My coursework and experience have equipped me with a diverse skill set, including pro proficiency in algorithms and data structure, object-oriented design and implementation, parallel computing and others. In addition to my studies, I'm an active member of the Monash Google Developer Student Club where I engage in collaborative projects and stay updated on the latest industry developments. To further enrich my experience, I recently completed a software engineer internship at Hexa IoT in 2023. This internship allowed me to apply my knowledge and skills in a real-world setting, gaining valuable insights and contributing a meaningful projects. Let's dive into a glimpse of who I am and what defines me. I'm a creative thinker, always exploring innovative solutions and unique perspectives. An insatiable curiosity drives me to constantly seek new knowledge and understanding. I approach interaction with form and a strong desire to build positive connections. Paying attention to the smallest details is a part of my nature, maintaining precision in everything I do. I'm a highly organized and goal-driven, finding satisfaction in productivity and achievement. In my free time, you will find me engaged in a variety of activities. My hobbies include playing basketball, watching movies, traveling, and enjoying diverse cuisine. My interests are diverse as well, ranging from programming to playing sports and exploring new places. So, Next, my strengths encompass my natural aptitude for collaboration, where I excel in working cohesively with others to achieve shared goals. My dedication to continuous learning and exploration further strengthens my capabilities. I'm not only a keen learner, but also a hard worker, consistently striving for excellence in my pursuits. These qualities propel me toward ongoing growth and success in various endeavors. However, there are aspects I dislike or find challenging. I dislike working with undisciplined individuals and find it challenging to connect with those who lack clear dreams or ambitions. Conflict is something I prefer to avoid, as I thrive in harmonious environments. For my weaknesses, I may consider inexperience in my field of study. Secondly, public speaking can make me a bit uneasy. My leadership and my leadership skills may need improvement when it comes to leading larger groups. So, next for the next, let's explore the two key areas where I'm actively focusing on personal and professional growth. The first one is career advancements, and the second one is communication skills. Allow me to explain the reasons behind my dedication to each area of development. For the career advancement, I am determined to become a successful leader in the IT industry. Hence, I need to work on honing my leadership skills for effective decisions making and team management. Staying updated with industry trends is essential for me to be a valuable, valuable resources. Enhanced management capabilities are vital for overseeing projects with decisions and building a professional networks creates an opportunity for collaboration. Next, for the communication skill, 
I recognize the importance of effective communication in both my career and my personal life. Effective communication skills are a pivotal area development for me. They promote efficient teamwork, minimize misunderstandings, inspire and motivate teams, enhance my understanding of others' needs and perspective, and allow me to convey ideas possessively and confidently, which are all essential for my leadership journey. I am committed to applying the SMART framework to ensure clarity, trackability, and effectiveness in achieving my goals. So let's delve into my first goal, which is nothing short of launching my own IT company. Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that count. Launching my IT company is a formidable challenge and I thought I may encounter setbacks. I'm committed to not quitting until I succeed. This goal strictly follows the SMART framework for effective goal setting. My aim is to initiate and lead my own IT company driven by a vision of innovation and industry leadership. I've laid out a clear path for the next three years, which measurable milestones and objectives to continually track my progress. Achievable through dedicated efforts, I'm actively acquiring the necessary skills, gathering vital resources, and forming a highly motivated team that shares my mission. This goal not just a career move, it's a reflection of my passion of entrepreneurship and my deep seated desire to shape and influence the IT industry. I aim to reach this goal by 2026, indicating my unwary dedication to seeing it through. To make my dream of launching my IT company a reality, I've outlined a strategic plan that encompasses a series of actions, timelines, success indicators, and collaborative efforts. My first action is to gain industry experience. Salgado and Moscoso once said, relevant experience for the job increases interviewers' perceptions and ratings. Hence, gaining industrial experience is vital for my goals. My commitment to gaining invaluable industrial experience in top IT companies, both in Malaysia and abroad, underscores my dedication to expanding my network understanding marketing dynamics and agreeing insights that will be invaluable for my entrepreneurial journey. In the immediate future, I plan to apply for positions in these companies within the next six months, with the goal of working for at least two years to amass substantial experience. Success in this endeavor is defined by my ability to secure a significant role within top IT firms to accomplish this I will actively seek support and guidance from seasoned mentors and IT professionals who can provide valuable insights and mentorship along the way. My second action is to skill development and training. Kurt once said, spend first of your life learning skills and about yourself. As you gain new experience to help identify your path, Kurt enhance my skills in areas crucial to my IT company success. To strengthen my knowledge base, I'm committed to investing in skill development through, through targeted courses and training programs. These educational endeavors will specifically concentrate on fundamental skills vital for the success of IT ventures, such as leadership, technology, and management. Over the next two months, I will enroll in skill development courses, embarking on a continuous journey to enhance my capabilities over the following two years. Success in these endeavors will be marked by the development of my skills and the entertainment of relevant certifications. And to achieve this, I will actively participate in courses, workshops, and collaboration with experts to refine and expand my skill set. Last but not least, my last action for this goal is to improve, me, improve my networking skill. In the Big Nine Lecture, as I mentioned by Michael and Yuki, they found that networking is related to the number of promotions an individual achieves in her, his or her career. Networking plays a pivotal role in advancing my career by fostering valuable, valuable connections, uncovering opportunities, and enhancing professional growth. I'm dedicated to exploring a range of funding avenues, including investors, loans, and grants to secure the essential capital required for my IT venture. 
In parallel, I will actively cultivate relationships with potential suppliers and partners to establish a robust support network. Within the next year, I will initiate funding and resources acquisition activities with the ultimate measure of success being the successful securing of the necessary funds and the establishment of the vital partnerships. To ensure the success of this action, I will collaborate closely with financial advisors, potential investors, and industry partners, aiming to streamline the funding and resource acquisition process. Through these concerted efforts and strategy planning, I am resolute in my pursuit of transforming my vision of launching a successful IT company into a tangible reality. Next, since communication skills is an important skill set for leader, and my public speaking is also one of my weaknesses, I set my second goal as mastering communication skills for leadership. According to Niti Noria, she said, communication is the real work of leadership. Thus, I need to improve my communication skills in order to become a leader in the future. To become an effective and inspiring leader in my IT company, I'm committed to mastering communication skills, particularly in public speaking. I will enroll in a comprehensively public speaking course and aim to consistently deliver confident presentations and inspire and motivate my team and stakeholders. To achieve this, I will practice regularly, seek constructive feedback and make necessary adjustments to enhance my public speaking abilities. This goal is not just about improving my communication. It's directly relevant to my leadership development and entrepreneurial asp aspirations. Aspirations. I will complete the public speaking course within 2023 and deliver my first confident presentation at work by 2024, marking a significant milestone in my journey toward leadership in my IT company. The first action is to attend the public speaking course. As Strucker mentioned, you will join the university's Toastmasters Club to learn more about public speaking. As he knows, communication skills are very important for an effective manager. Because a public speaking course is one of the most effective ways to improve my communication skills. Enrolling in the public speaking course is my first step, and I will do this within the next two weeks. This action is essential because it provides me a foundational knowledge and skills required for the effective public speaking. By enrolling in a recognized public speaking course, I aim to acquire specific techniques and strategies for delivering persuasive and engaging presentations. This action is relevant because it aligns with my goals of mastering communication for leadership. The success of this action lies in my ability to enroll in a recognized and reputable, reputable public speaking course. To ensure I make the most of this opportunity, I will collaborate with a respected public speaking coach or institution which will provide valuable guidance and expertise. Moreover, my second action is learning, practicing my public speaking and getting feedback from others every time after my practice. In the week nine lecture, Kurt said, Continual learning is a constant of successful careers. Hence, learning and practicing my public speaking will lead me towards, towards my goal. Simultaneously, I'm committed to a regimen of practice and feedback. I will begin practicing public speaking immediately to main, and maintain a regular practice schedule. This action is crucial because it allows me to apply knowledge gained from the public speaking course and hone my skills. The specific objective here is to establish a consistent practice regimen and includes a regular sessions. Additionally, I aim to receive constructive feedback that highly highlights areas of improvement, improvement. Success in this action is defined by a consistent practice regimen and a tangible improvement based on the feedback. To receive comprehensive feedback, I will seek insights from my mentors, colleagues, and public speaking expert who will play a pivotal role in my journey. So right now, let's talk about my progress. In my pursuit of launching my IT company, I've initiated market research and business planning, all while actively gaining essential industrial experience in top IT companies. I'm dedicating time 
to improve my skills through training and courses with a specific focus on leadership, technology, and management. Simultaneously, I'm delving into various funding options from investors to loans and grants to secure the capital necessary for my venture. Building crucial relationships with potential suppliers and partners is another key aspect of this journey. While I've made significant progress, the skills and exciting path ahead on my quest to turn my entrepreneurial dreams into reality. In the quest to master communication for leadership, I've embarked on a dedicated journey. I'm actively working to enhance my communication skills, practicing regularly to inspiring to lead effectively. Confidence building a work in progress is key to delivering compelling presentation with impact. On this part to leadership, my commitment is unwarily dedicated to becoming an inspiring leader in my future IT company. All right, to sign up, this is my career plan and timeline for the next three years. I will continue learning and schedule a mentorship with either my friends, families, or supervisors every six months to do a self-tracking and listening to their feedback and guidance with all the goals and action plans being set in my professional development plan. It can let me better focus on my career path leading me throughout the transitions from a student to a professional. I will build all these plans and goals. I set the blueprint to assist me in achieving the goals that I want to see in my life. So this concludes my professional development plan. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Peace out.